Hello, I would like to share a rather easy technique for creating a percentage based counters with the help of some simple expressions. So as you can see over here, what we have is just a counter with a number going from 0 to 100%. If I take a look at the expression, you can see that it's driven mainly by a slider and uh, added the percentage at the end. So I have animated the slider from 0 to 100 and the percentage is added on with expression. So let's take a look and see how we can build this. So I have a new comp over here and I just have a simple gradient for the background. I have also added a text layer over here and just typed in the number 0. On this text layer, I've added two glows as well just to make the number glow in a nice manner and it's just a simple zero over here there's nothing added to it so let's see what we can do with this so if i want to make a counter there is only one very difficult way which is to change the number directly in the source text and add a keyframe for every time you want to change of course this is not very practical if you want to do a counter so we're going to use expressions to help us get this effect instead in a much easier way so the first thing is how are we going to add a number and if we were to look at the effects that we have in After Effects, we can look at the expressions control and the one that we're going to use is the slider. So just select the text and add the slider over there. The reason why we use the slider is because the slider has number controls. And if I click and drag this slider value, you can see that it goes from 0 to any number above. So this will be very useful for helping us to animate our counter. Let's reset that. To make it easier to identify, I'm just going to rename it to counter. So I hit enter, type counter, and we will use this to drive our expression. So what we want to do now is to have this number drive our source text. So if you don't see the source text, select the text layer, open up the arrow, and open up text and find the source text. So the source text is the one that is holding whatever you type into the text layer. And we want this one to be controlled by the expression. So let's add the expression. I'm going to press alternate and click on the stopwatch. And this will give us access to the expression field. We don't need to type anything over here. All we want to do right now is just to link this text to take the value from the slider. So with this entire text highlighted, I'm just going to take the pick whip and drag and click on the slider itself. After Effects will then fill in the expression for us without us needing to type anything. Just click away, you will see that nothing has changed because the counter is at zero and the source text layer is actually displaying the value of zero. If we were to change our slider number, you can see that the number changes accordingly and we can go in both negative and positive. Let's reset that. Okay, so we have a very simple counter over here and let's see how we can animate this. At frame 0, I will just add a keyframe at 0 and maybe in 3 seconds, I'm going to increase this to 100 and I'm going to press U. This will highlight the only the keyframes of this layer and you can see that we have two keyframes over here. But if I were to drag the time head, you can see that our well, number is way too long. We still get the correct keyframe value at 0 and 100, but the in-between is in a very very long decimal number. So I'm just going to click and shift over and then you'll see that actually the number is animating, but we have this excess decimal places at the end, which we don't want at all for our counter. Let me just center that back again. So how are we going to get rid of that? Now I'll go back into my expression by pressing E twice. This will highlight only the expressions and I'm going to click on it. But before we type anything, we need to get the value of this slider. So even though this expression works, if we're going to add anything else, we actually have to type in another portion of this expression for it to work. And that extra thing that we need to type in is called value. What we're going to do now is we're going to add a dot at the end and we're going to type in the word value. What this actually tells After Effects is that we are using the slider value to calculate the expression. We are going to carry on and we'll add another dot 
and we're going to type in the word to fix just take note that we need to type everything in lowercase except for the first letter of the word fixed to end off the expression we're just going to type in the open and close bracket so that is done we're just going to click the way and let's see what we have so as you can see we do not have the decimal places anymore so this is all good and it's working perfect but as I mentioned earlier, we want to do a percentage based counter. And what we have over here is just the numbers 0 to 100. So now we are going to add the percentage. So we're going to click back into the expression again. And we are going to find the end of the expression. And we're just going to type in a little bit more. So we'll go to the end of the expression. And we're just going to add the percentage sign. So we will type in a plus. But before we add the percentage, we need to open and close inverted commas. So we just type in the open inverted comma and we will add our percentage sign. And that's it. Just make sure that we have a close inverted commas at the end and then we'll click away. So the result is that we'll get a number followed by the percentage sign no matter what number is being displayed. And that's it for our expression. So we already have a very simple percentage base counter. So you can see that the expression is a very simple expression with a slider ended with a to fix and we are adding a percentage at the end. So let's finish up our counter. So what I have over here is a shape layer with a circle drawn. The circle is at size 600 and I have added a gradient stroke and a trim path that will help me to visualize the counter progress. Notice that the trim path end requires a value of 0 to 100%. We can actually use the same slider to drive the end percentage over here. I will just press alternate and click on the stopwatch on the end. Next, I will select my text layer so that I have access to the counter slider over here. And going back to the trim path's end expression, we're going to pick whip and drag it over to the counter slider value. So clicking away, we have linked the end trim path value to match the counter slider value. And the counter has the keyframe of 0 to 100. So if I were to just play it, you can see that this slider is also controlling the trim path's amount. And that's it. So just to top it off, we're going to do a very simple easing on the counter. And for the end, I'm just going to add a velocity of 100% and let's take a look at what we have so that's our very simple percentage base counter done with just one line of expression I hope this helps you in your future projects and I'll see you in the next tutorial